So just a big shout out to the Supreme Court for making sure, I guess, that I have VPN sponsors for pretty much the rest of my career. That's one way I can introduce this story. Because this week, the Supreme Court refused to block a Texas law from taking effect that requires porn sites to verify users' age by requiring them to submit personal information like government IDs, right? with supporters of the law saying that it's aimed at preventing minors from accessing those platforms. So adult websites have largely just responded by blocking their content in states where they have laws like this. Now, notably here, the decision to let the law stay in place may be temporary, right? with the court just saying that the law can stand while they consider whether to take up the case, which, you know, was appealed to the high court after a ton of legal back and forth. Because after the age verification law was first passed, a group of challengers sued, arguing that it violated the First Amendment rights of adults while also raising serious privacy and security concerns, saying that requiring users to provide government ID opens them up to identity theft or possibly extortion, and arguing that the law won't be that effective because it doesn't restrict access to porn on search engines or social media. Which, yeah, I don't know your experience, but on platforms like X, for example, there could be a very popular post, you know, there's, there's nothing sexual about it. You go into the replies and it's just it's a lot of content i can't be looking at while i'm in line at the grocery store but notably in the situation in a lower court decision earlier judge david allen ezra of the federal district court in austin ruled in the plaintiff's favor blocking the law at the time and arguing that it would have a chilling effect on speech writing by verifying information through government identification the law will allow the government to peer into the most intimate and personal aspects of people's lives it runs the risk that the state can monitor when an adult views sexually explicit materials and what kind of websites they visit in effect the law risks forcing individuals to divulge specific details of their sexuality to the state government to gain access to certain speech. But then we saw a three-judge panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit disagreeing, striking down Ezra's ruling and saying that the law is rationally related to the government's legitimate interest in preventing minors' access to pornography. Though very notably here, that panel was divided, with the dissenting judge arguing that not only does the law undermine free speech, it could also limit access to other content deemed pornographic like popular shows and films or, you know, a lot of HBO content, whether it be Cersei Lannister, Ben and her brother or whatever else. And the judge also arguing that his colleague's ruling conflicts with Supreme Court precedent, right? And actually to that point, it'll be very interesting to see if the Supreme Court takes up this case in full because there are some overlapping precedents here. For example, in 1968, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of limiting the distribution of certain sexual materials to minors. But then in 2004, the justices at the time actually blocked a law very similar to the one in Texas by finding that it did indeed interfere with the First Amendment rights of adults. And what's more, the court's decision on whether to take up this case is also massively consequential because any decision decision could reach far beyond Texas. Right in recent years, similar age verification laws have been passed in nearly 10 other states, and there are others considering to do the same. But for now, we're just going to have to wait to see what these nine forever judges decide to do.